Okay, let's talk about Seborrheic Dermatitis, represented by this deer, and he likes to wear tights. Subway deer in tights for Seborrheic Dermatitis. So let's take a look at this guy over here. Before we note the symptoms on this guy, we note that he's holding a mallet. A mallet that is made of fur. Mallet made of fur, fur malassezia furfur. Seborrheic Dermatitis is somehow associated with malassezia furfur, or any of the malassezia species for that matter. And it's thought to be caused by a hypersensitivity reaction to this fungus. But anyway, let's talk about the symptoms now. So Zeborrheic dermatitis presents with erythematous, well-demarcated plaques with greasy yellow scales in areas rich in sebaceous glands, such as the scalp. This is a classic picture of the gross morphology of Zeborrheic dermatitis on the scalp, as well as on the face and the periocular region. What's this guy doing here? This guy over here, this old man over here, who's parking his truck in the sun, parking in the sun, parking in the sun for Parkinson's. This helps us to remember that seborrheic dermatitis is associated with Parkinson's disease. The reason is not exactly known, but to help us remember that seborrheic dermatitis is associated with Parkinson's disease, we'll have this guy parking in the sun. We'll just end off this video with a word about treatment. Treatment for seborrheic dermatitis involves topical antifungals and corticosteroids. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on seborrheic dermatitis. Take care.